Alex the Mac. It was a different experience. I ain't even Where's Alex? Ski, but that's when I broke. I broke my motherfucking reality for real. I broke my game and shit. So it's okay. But like, how far? Like, or how long did I guess it take you to recalibrate your reality? Still on the process. Come on, man. <laughs> that type shit. I'm in this bitch. You know what I mean? I'm in this bitch. Yeah. I'm just living through it. You know, what I mean? but I kind of like it too at the same time because it's like it's different. It, it's like it's not. I'm not living the same life as I used to. So like, I mean, obviously, like it still be fucking up my mind and shit. Like I be thinking and bitch, and like you know what I mean. Niggas be hearing my thoughts and shit like that. But that shit be like I don't be trying to. I don't be trying to think about it too much. But shit, I'm going through it. I mean, I'm pushing through it regardless. Yeah. Shit, I got a motherfucker. Got a motherfucker. That's one of the crazy moments of it, though, is that it does allow you to have a moment of reflection to be like, oh, I don't have to keep living this way, right? Yeah. Or, like, it does, like, in whatever way, like, it just breaks down the fucking code that you just see around you in your everyday life type shit, right? Tight Where shit. it's just, like, for a moment, especially, like, you, you take a six grams, bro, I say, that's a, that's a fucking trip to Saturn or some shit, man. It was kind of lit, though, because, like, or I did that bitch. Yeah. But then, like, at the, it was my 20th birthday. So, like, I don't know. It was, like, 20 just felt, like, very spiritual. Because, like, oh, leaving, I was leaving 1-9, which is first completion. I was leaving first completion, entering my second phase of life. So it was, like, it was like damn, nigga, I done lived 20 years on this motherfucking earth. This yeah. shit was, like, crazy. And then I was, like, I went to go. That was when the new Miles Morales movie came out, uh, Enter the Spider-Verse. Yeah. So I went to go watch that bitch. No. I mean, well, lit. I ain't even yeah. gonna lie, but like, I was mad because I was Miles Morales. Like in my mind, I was Miles Morales. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, I was hot as shit. I was hot at, the, I was hot at the girl. I was hot at the um the antagonist and shit. So I left the movie not thinking it was good. I left the movie not thinking it was good, but then I rewatched. It. I was like, damn, this shit, this shit heat for real. Yeah, uh, that shit was fado. But uh, that shit really did break down my reality for real. Cause like, at first, my shit was like, at first, like I had, I had went through spiritual psychosis. I went through psychosis and shit. But then I wasn't supposed to do no shrooms no more and shit. But then I got, I, I did them again. <laughs> what was the verdict? Birthday. Yeah. Bored. Home alone. Let me do some shrooms. I done had them bitches for like a little while. Let me eat the bitches. But ever since then, I ain't done them since then. But like, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't done them since then. But like, I don't, that's why I don't really need, be needing to smoke no more. Because nowadays, I just be like passively high. Yeah. Tight shit. Like if I get like and if I smoke, it be sending me because I, I always feel like I used to always feel like I'm the highest in the room, but now I'm definitely always the highest in the room. Mm. So like I be just thinking too much. Yeah. How do you feel, um, like psychedelics or anything like that has like any effect on like anxiety? Like, cause with weed, weed is supposed to calm anxiety, but it also spikes anxiety. Yeah. So what if what is your um, reaction to it? So everything definitely reacts to people differently. Yeah. Like everything reacts to somebody differently. Like you gonna smoke weed? Like when I smoke weed, I'm more anxious. I hyperactive thoughts, like way more thoughts than I would have like when I'm sober. And then when I'm more fucking off a of psychedelic, like when I'm off a of psychedelic, I'm definitely back like. Back to where, like, not state of all knowing, but, like, the state of, like, I'm using my motherfucking um, intuition way more. So, like, off a of psychedelic, a nigga can, like, a nigga gonna know shit. A nigga gonna know shit. But then that's how you, that's what, that's the point of, like, bringing your shit back to, like, you gotta, you gotta, because off a of psychedelic, you gonna have so much knowledge, but then it's about bringing it back down to when you sober and understanding this knowledge and coming to, like, comprehension of what the hell this shit is. Mm -hmm. So, like, that's why a nigga be trying to like, I like under. I don't think I'm answering your question. That's why a nigga be trying to like, um, just understand more, like what's like what's going on. Cause like, you feel me? It be like, yeah, I get it. You're you're curious about it, and I, I, what I was asking was like, cause I like, like you said, break your reality type shit. Mm -hmm. Like that can I know for me, like when I had an experience like that, like ego death type shit, right? Where it was like. It just like spiked my anxiety during the moment to yeah. so such a high, and like it was because I saw a fucking uh, Five Nights at Freddy poster. Oh right? yeah, yeah, that shit going. Yeah, but like to me, it was like the door to the underrealm or something like that, you know, and like yeah. just in like whatever like deep meaning that it can like have and fester. But mm -hmm. um, 
I don't know. I always feel like in some sense, like you come back to your regular everyday reality with some sort of, I don't know if it's understanding or if it's like, like, it's like if you can go to that extreme with your psychology, it's like what can really like fuck with you the same way, especially when you like get to reflect on the shit that you've been through. Oh, sometimes yeah. psychedelics do that where it's kind of like, you're not giving yourself enough care that you were able to run through that fire right there, bro, yeah. type shit. Whereas like. I don't know, what has your experience been with, like with that, would you say? Or like, yeah, psych- so psychedelics is definitely a good way to like verse your shadows. Like, mm. like, you know what I mean? Everybody got a shadow self. Everybody got a, a higher self. But like, uh, psychedelics is definitely a way to like understand like who you are. Because like you said, like a lot of people, like you're going to go through some shit, but then you're just going to push through that shit like it's normal. But then like, you're going to understand like, damn, nigga, you really him, like. You really did this shit. You really fought that shit. You really went through this shit. Like, you really stopped yourself from doing things like that. Like, you really, you know what I mean? So, like, you're going you gonna, to, like, really understand, like, who you are versus, that's why they illegal. Because they don't want, if a whole if a whole society understood who the fuck they was, niggas would not be in this bitch working for the rest of their life. Niggas would be in this bitch motherfucking farming, regrouping shit, understanding, like, okay, this is what the fuck we could really do. Like, this is what we could we could change. We could change the way of, of living and shit like that. But niggas don't, like, that's why they ban them bitches. Because niggas going through existential crises and understanding, like, damn, okay, we more than what the fuck this body entails. Like, nigga, I'm connected to this. I'm connected to that. That's why I have a motherfucking uh, EP coming out. It's not an EP. It's a project. It's a collab project with my dog from uh, Lake County, Florida, 352. It's a, it's a uh, collab project with my dog, We Hate Ethan. I don't hate my nigga. I don't know why he named that shit. The name is named that, but you know what I mean? Yeah. It's a collab project. And it's called Connected to Everything Attached to Nothing. And it's like, obviously, we all know that we connected to everything. And we all know who we are. But like, it's it's like, it's all this shit we eat, all this shit we consume, all this shit that block us off and make you understand like, okay, we don't know who the fuck we are no more. And so now we just living, now we just humans. Stuck in a rat race, mm. trying to run the same shit all day, every day, trying to make it, trying to make a dollar. What the fuck is a dollar, nigga? Right. Like, it's a I'm currency. A dollar, what the fuck is 50 cent? Like, For real, though. Yeah. It's just a currency that we, it's a currency that we give power to. We take the power away from the, and hey, what's up? Oh, Audi? Tell you. Can I let go of Yeah, he's sure. I don't think Frog's out here. Nah, it's always Shout out to Till next time, bro. Till next time, Let's see if I turn this a little bit. I felt like you were just a little bit out of frame. I ain't even gonna edit this shit out neither. Fuck it. Mm. Fuck it. Do it live. But nah, this shit crazy. It's like, cause like, yeah, yeah. Cause what the fuck is a dollar? You know what I mean? What the fuck is it's currency? Just, it's just a uh, means that we barter some sort of energy or value. That is predetermined, and we just all agree, because that's how the monopoly board was set up, and that's how we play the game. But I think at the same time, um, it makes life simpler, yeah, and easier in a lot of ways. But I also think it distracts from true values, and I think most of the time it makes us distract that one of the truest value is just relationships, right? Mm-hmm. You don't gotta be best friends with every motherfucker you walk past, but there is value in having a network and having relations with people where it's like, damn, I might not have a horse, but I know somebody who has a horse. And I know that if I give him this amount of fucking corn or this amount of like energy of mine for his cause that I can borrow that horse, bro. Yeah. And it's like, you know, that's just like a simple like transactional standpoint, but it's exactly, it's like, it's something deeper than transactional, I guess. Yeah. It's like, how I see it, yeah. I see it's like niggas put so much value on currency yeah. that currency became currency became like everything. That's that's all we live for. If we don't got enough money to pay our bills, then we not able to live. But and if we don't got if we don't have any money, we can't we can't go purchase food or we can't eat. Like we so dependent on a system. Versus being dependent on self, versus being dependent on each other, versus being dependent on that relationship that we could build with Billy or Bob across the street. 
You know what I mean? Billy O'Bob could be growing corn. My wife could be weaving baskets. He need baskets. I need corn. Let's, you know what I mean? Let's make this relationship work. We got, you know what I mean? You your own person. I'm my own person. But shoot, I go outside. He give you this basket. You can give me some corn. We can work. We can work some things out and things, things of that nature. But I understand. I can also understand why currency became a way. But the, the way it used to be was like spices and gold Bart. and minerals. Like bartering. You know mm. what I mean? Trading and shit like that. We're valuables, yeah. For real. That's actually the funny thing is that we don't even realize what's valuable today. It's nah. Like if money disappeared tomorrow, right? If like, uh, the, uh, what was it? Like, leave the world behind. If any of these apocalyptic, like, end of nation type movies were to happen that they yeah. always like to tease us and spike our anxieties with, right? We wouldn't even know what we should keep or what we should trade, right? It's like the old saying, like, throwing the baby out with the bathwater. Yeah. It's like, it's exactly like that. It's like spice and seasonings. It's like, I would maybe think, like, gold, like, you know, if I got something like that. But it's like, damn, I'm going to be mad as hell if I just got to be out here eating with some plain ass, no spice. Yeah. For real. Though. That's why, like, we supposed to know how to motherfucking create everything. Like, we have everything we need. We got the seeds. We got the land. We got everything mm-hmm. we need. You feel me? It's just niggas ain't taught that shit. And then when niggas is taught that shit, like, when niggas is taught that shit, they don't, like they teach it in like a, a off brand class or like they let you, you have to go you have to go somewhere else or go into the country to learn it from somebody else like it's not it's not an accessible thing to everybody mm-hmm. or just like just like if we are going to stay in like a if we are going to stay in a a, a a society system like they don't man you have to go pay for a trade to learn a trade so you can go you know what I mean go achieve work so you can go achieve this dollar so you can go pay your bills like it's really all like a rat race is really all a race. I mean, obviously, we both know that. Yeah, it's all a race to just who gonna put they who gonna put the most not even the most effort, but like who gonna put the most energy towards like making f- making money for them. Mm. It's lucky to find it's like the game inside the game type shit, right? For real, though. Or it's like exactly what you said. You said this, and like it kind of just sparked my mind. Sometimes you know you just had the most. It's obvious yeah. as fuck, but like I never had that thought. Where it's like. Yeah, like, a dollar really matters so much. So, like, if I ain't really have a dollar, I might not eat nothing today because I just got to save that dollar for something where I don't even got the dollar to. But at the same time, it's like, what's stopping me from going and fucking shiving up a fucking harpoon, running out to the Everglades and fucking stabbing me some pork? For, for real, though. Like, it's like, niggas is so stuck in, so stuck in, like, the systematic way of living. We forgot, like, the original way of living, which is just... Being you hunting, going hunting, gathering yourself, and doing things of that nature, growing shit, being who you is, Mm. instead of just like living for, because it's all just living for another person. Like you work, you go, you go make money. That that person who's above you has somebody who's above him, who's above him, who's above him, who's making billions of dollars, Mm. regardless. And it's all off of your work. It's all off of what you doing. So I mean, it's it's like it is like, you know what I mean? Slavery just evolved and it just became what the hell we is now you know what i mean it's it's like for a certain energy that we give it's always been about energy it was always we need to put this battery together of power and point in a direction that we need Mm -hmm. now it's just whether it's a fucking product or ad on your phone if it's a fucking new couch that you buy or some shit right and it's so easy to just like forget about it it's so easy to just forget about it and just go on with your day-to-day life and just move and just like live like it's normal but Mm. at the end of the day it's like the sun getting hotter at the end of the day the sun getting hotter it's straight supernovas over and over again so it's like regardless if you can't take if you can't take the sun then you will be obsolete on the plane of existence so like if you if the sun going if the, if you can't take what gives us all life, it's gonna be obsolete for our plane of existence. So, yeah, there might be some albinos on the ground, bro, in basements. Almost most definitely, I ain't gonna lie. Everything they put in these movies, like Journey <laughs> to the Center of the Earth, every, uh, like that. What was that movie you, you had said? The um the one apocalyptic movie. Oh, uh, leave the world behind. Mm-hmm. All yeah. that shit that they put in these. Shout movies. out Obama. <laughs> he wrote that shit. He wrote that bitch. <laughs> he he put some input on it. Damn. Type shit, right? It's like, damn. What does this is me? How am I supposed to dissect this? Yeah. Was it Barack Obama or was it Michelle? Barack. 
Damn. Big B. <laughs> Damn. That's crazy. I ain't even gonna lie. I ain't know that. But nah, right. they gonna put that bitch in. They gonna put that bitch in your face because they have to. They have to show you everything that you know you're supposed to do. They have to show you everything that you're supposed to know because, regardless, like imagine if power went out right now, everything down. We have a whole cyber attack on America. What are we doing? Realistically, realistically, what's gonna happen? Shit, man. You gotta choose. Are you a trusting person or are you a not trusting person? And then you need to realize if how many of those are like you are around you. Mm-hmm. So, like, you know, at that point, you have to decide how do you even get resources? How do we split up resources? If we're all trusting, are we all believing that we're going to split the resources the equitable, the right way or whatever? Tight shit. But then some people must sit and be like, damn, that's just too complicated. I'm better off just being by that's myself so. there. Yeah. And then, yeah, like the, what's the old saying? Uh, faster, alone, further together. It's like, yeah, you might be faster, you might be able to get what you need done type shit, but it's also going to, like, potentially be a faster, like, existence. Yeah. Yeah, you're going yeah, you eventually going to die quicker. Somebody going to kill you. Somebody going to see, because it's always envy regardless. Niggas going niggas gonna to trade. Yeah, especially if the world goes to shit, bro. Yeah, niggas is definitely going to go on You got a big red apple shit. in your hand. For sure. That's enough. So, I mean, realistically, yeah. I mean, first thing you're going to do is try to tool up, right? For sure. But that's what was happening, and that's why 2020 was such a problem. Niggas was, niggas, with this whole, like, Black Lives Matter was, was bigger than, like, what they made it seem. Like, Black Lives Matter was a was a scam, obviously, in the first place. Like, you know what the woman did with the Black Lives Matter shit? I was just talking about that shit with Mike Deasy. That yeah. shit, like, I don't know all the details of it, but just from what I know, it's like... Wow. Yeah, she took all that money and spent money on uh spent spent all that money on herself. But like the original Black Lives Matter, I'm pretty sure it was made by uh four original uh black men and shit. But anyway, I'm getting off topic. The black Black Lives Matter was supposed to like you seen all the like the riots, the apocalyptic shit, everything that was going on, like like hey, I saw the champs get fucking burned up. For sure. Like all like and that was like a flash to what could could be like a breakdown of the whole system. And then uh, a rebuild of that bitch, but it's just it's, that was forever. That was always. That's gonna be it's it's gonna be a like with a, like there's no way around it. It's going to end up apocalyptic. Because if something go if it goes to shit, it's apocalyptic. But what are we living in right now? Shit. So if we break out of the shit we living in. It's gotta go through. It's gotta go through chaos before it can get peace. Mm. It's gotta go through darkness before light can be revealed. Yeah, and I, and even then, um, I feel like if you look at history, I know some people say like "fuck history." Why do I even gotta pay attention? You but can't I feel say like fuck the history because history is how you gonna the patterns. Your, it's just everything's gonna be a pattern. It's a cycle. Yeah, I think when you hear about these like. You know, like, Rome, like, collapsed, right, obviously. Mm-hmm. And then it's like, what does Rome collapsing mean? Well, I'm not scholarly enough to know, but I'm sure that meant that there was a new state here, a new state there, a new, like, region, territory here. Mm-hmm. And I bet there was a bunch of new head bosses that thought they all had, like, claim to the shit, right? Yeah. And it's like, realistically, we look at what was happening, even after, like, 2020 with Portland, right? Like, that was kind of, like, going for a little while where it's like, oh, yeah, drugs are just free and like violence is like kind of like whatever because cops don't really like roam there and shit like that they just turn the whole city into like the fucking project gotham nigga that shit yeah gotham Gotham. literally and it's like (laughs) it's like okay if you if you rule if you turn the world into anarchy the world is just going to it's just going to uh collapse if you turn the world into anarchy (laughs) Damn, I'm black as shit. <laughs> I'm also sitting right in the print. That's actually like funny how that works. I'm sitting right in the like door shadow. Um, yeah, that just means that the battery is running low. You turn back on. Unlockly. If I have my laptop, I just plug it in. Damn. We could just sh- shift seats, man. It could be that simple. You think they're gonna see me? They, I don't think they see me. Well, we can we can do like some sort of wrap up. Yeah. Yeah, let's get with it. But, hell yeah, man. Like, you see the conversation. They don't want us to talk about these conversations, so you know what that means? We got to have another conversation, man. Yeah, we do. Want to, like, introduce yourself officially to the people since we haven't done it. What's up, y'all boys? It's Hafiz. Shoot. 
I appreciate Alex for having me out, man. Shout out Alex Mack. You already know what it is, man. I got a uh, I got a project with my dog. We hate Ethan. I don't hate my nigga. But I got a project with my dog. It's Hafiz. We hate Ethan. It's called Connected to Everything, Attached to Nothing. And then after that, I got an EP coming out. Or I got a mixtape coming out called Agony. You know what I mean? That big going to be turned up. I appreciate you having me, nigga. Alrighty, bro. Great conversation. For sure. Bye-bye.